Smoothie Rockateller, Chapter 5. Rockadilly Do and a Bop or Two. Then David took his staff in his hand, chose five smooth stones from the brook, put them in the pouch of his shepherd's bag, and with his sling in hand, approached the Philistine. 1 Samuel 17:40. Now the Israeli talking walkabouts had a royal boss about. Some call him a king, but what kind of a name is that? King? Nope. A royal boss about is what he is. He wears a royal shiny crown and bosses everyone around. But this royal boss was at a loss. The whopper talking walkabout had made him very scared too, and he didn't know what to do. Then he heard that someone in the camp was determined to be a whopper stopper. So he gave orders to bring him into his tent. The royal boss about wondered, could this be their one great hope? Nope. Before his eyes came a big surprise. It was a little, little talking walkabout who came in with a shout. Let no one's heart be afraid of the whopper. Your servant will be his stopper. But the royal boss about said to David, you can't be a whopper stopper. You are too, too little. And Goliath has been a mighty whopper of war his whole life. David knew that he was little. But he also knew that little is much when God is in it. If God be for you, who could be against you? So David told the royal boss about that. God would win the fight. God taught me to trust in him. One day, I was watching my father's bad, bad mini cloud walkers when a scratcher roar and a growler prowler came to eat one of them. But God gave me the power and strength to kill both of them. And this whopper will be the same. So the royal boss about told David to go and wanted to help him by giving him his best armor. He gave him his helmet of bronze and his special army coat, along with a big sword so that David would be as safe as possible. The royal boss about thought that David would be better off with all his best armor, but something was wrong. David didn't feel better. He tried to take a step or two and found out that this royal army would not work for him. He had never used such things before, so he could not trust them. He decided to use a different armor, a better armor, an armor he could fully trust. He was going to use the armor of God. His faith and trust in God was the best armor of all. So David came down to the brook and began looking into the water. He reached down and started flipping and tipping all my friends. His feelers were busy at work. Oh, what are feelers? Some call them fingers, but what kind of a name is that? Fingers? Nope. Feelers are what they are. They are always feeling, and David's feelers were the busiest I've ever seen. One rock was too big, another too small. It seemed like David wouldn't stop until he felt them all. Then his feelers grabbed a hold of me. rock a dilly do! I had never been touched by feelers before. They were warm and gentle as they rolled me over and over. This was more exciting than all the whooshing and swishing from the brook. I could tell that David had happy feelers because a big smile came on his face. And then he said, smooth. That's me, Smoothie. Then I got a rockadilly do uppies. David lifted me up, 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 out of the water and slipped me into 
his feeler bag, a bag made by feelers so that feelers can put things in it and take things out of it. Soon after, four of my other brook friends were slipped into the feeler bag with me, and off we went with David. As David ran, his feelers kept on visiting us, tipping us, and flipping us, flipping us, and tipping us. Maybe David liked to hear the tip and tumble, bump and rumble sound we made in his bag. This was a strange place to be, but I was sure it was God's plan for me. Then, all of a sudden, David stopped running. His feeler stopped feeling. For a moment, everything was still until we heard boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. It was Goliath the Whopper talking walkabout. He looked at David and sneered. What is this? A cute little boy to come out and face me? Am I a puppy to play with? He got super, super mad, started yelling things that were super, super bad. And that made me super, super sad. Then he pointed at David and roared, Come over here and I'll turn you into a little boy sandwich for the tweeter flappers and wild animals to nibble on for lunch. Whopper talk like that would make anybody run and hide. But do you think that's what David did? Nope. Instead, David... Spoke with great confidence. You come to me with a sword and a spear, but I come to you in the name of the Lord of all, the God of heaven and earth, which you have made fun of. Today, the Lord will turn you and your armies into food for the tweeter flappers, and all the world will know that God is true by conquering you. David shouted, the battle is the Lord's. Even though David had a little walk, God had filled his heart with awesome, faithful talk. He quickly reached into his feeler bag with a searching tip and flip, and out I came into the open, firmly in his grip. Face to face with Goliath, David placed me in his sling, and without any hesitation, he began a powerful swing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whirling around and around I go. Faster, faster, faster. I was in the sling of a master. No wonder David had no fear of Goliath's giant sword. He knew when he released me, I would be in the hand of the Lord. rock a dilly do. David's feelers and sling let me go. But I was not alone. Nope. Speeding through the air, God was there. His feelers no one could see, but I know. Yes, I know. They were guiding Smoothie me. Now I knew God's perfect plan. God shaped me to be a bopper. Sent at rock'em sock'em speed by the stopper. Perfectly aimed into the topper of that loud and foolish whopper. So that he became a flopper. rock a dilly do for the whopper stopper. The Israeli talking walkabouts gave a great cheer and chased after the Philistine talking walkabouts who ran in fear. Everyone learned that with God, all things are possible. And rock a dilly do it's true. I flew. And that is the end of our story, but it's not the end of David's story. Open your Bibles and you can read the rest.